you said that this could have taken place in New Orleans or Florida or Detroit or Chicago, but um, is it on some level, uh, uh, do you see it as a specifically American story? In other words, uh, could it have taken place in London, where you've made several pictures, where maybe we think of the class distinctions being more rigid and somebody uh, from a adopted home and a sort of lower class background like uh, like Jasmine wouldn't be able to reinvent herself in the first place the way that she has when we first see her in this movie? Well, technically you could do it in England or France or, you know, or an English-speaking country, anyhow, certainly. You, you could do it technically, but it doesn't feel right. It feels like an American story. It feels... You know, and I just know it that way. I just know these women from this neighborhood that we're sitting in now who get up in the morning and they're rich. And they go to the Hamptons and they go to the Christie's auction and they go shopping and they and that's what they're like. And, and they're nice people. You know, they, they do a lot of fundraising for... Uh, Good causes, you know, and and contribute a lot of uh, a lot of personal money to, and and I mean significant money, a hundred million dollars, two hundred million dollars to, you know, hospitals and school things, and they're decent people. But if you if the bottom dropped out for them, you know, it would not be uh, not be easy for them. They, they're they're addicted to a certain lifestyle that's just... Uh, and it isn't just having a chauffeur. It's, you know, it's who your friends are and the embarrassment of it. And the, it felt very American to me. Now, and, of course, in this country, every, every week that you pick up the newspaper, there's another fraud or bank fraud or... or Investment house fraud or stock fraud, you know, you know it's, it's such a such a common theme.